All right, today's Thursday. Thursday, we're gonna go show some houses. Gonna go show a house on a big lot, and then a third showing uh, that you guys saw. Well, you didn't see this house. I'll, I'll shoot this house when I get done, when I shut off all the lights. This is a third showing for them on a house in Williamson Farm. So we'll see. The other agent said that there's an offer in on the home right now. So we'll see if it is the one. I'm gonna put you guys on the car uh, holder right now so that I can talk to you on the way there. See you soon. Okay, I've got you on the car holder now and I'm trying out a new um, angle on the car holder so we'll just have to see what this video looks like when I go and edit it so um, this angle may put less stress on the car holder it may not I'm just not 100% sure um, yet at this time so wow it looks like it's shaking a lot more don't know if I'm gonna like this angle any better than the other one so like I said I'm gonna go do some showings got a letter I've got a mail off on the way home so let's put that somewhere that I don't forget it I brought the backup battery charger right here there's a real nice looks like a chow german shepherd mix loose in the neighborhood um, yeah so today just tons of paperwork and i know a lot of your big producers they have transaction coordinators that help them with their paperwork and stuff like that and i do too um, don't get me wrong and, and a lot of big coaches and things will say, don't waste time doing $10 an hour paperwork, which I totally, totally agree. I, I really do agree with that. The, the paperwork part of it though, like opening up title, you know, that's, that's pretty straightforward. Like you could have a transaction coordinator do that for you. The, um, you know, uh, entering in your houses and social media and stuff like that. You could, you could totally have someone do that for you. This battery is 100% full, so we will stop charging it, and I'll switch them out when I turn this off. Social media stuff. Totally have a transaction coordinator do that for you. Putting a property in the MLS, you could totally. Have a transaction coordinator do that for you. Let me raise you up. I don't think you're tall enough. Wow. Okay. I like that angle a little better. Um, I think you're a little taller. Okay. Um, Putting property in the MLS, transaction coordinator. Putting together a market valuation. If you have a licensed transaction coordinator, they can do that. Man, I really need to get my monthly email out. I haven't done that this month. I have to do that. I'm gonna be on the road all day tomorrow. I'll get that out next Monday. Don't forget, Mother's Day is coming up, everybody. Take care of your moms. Without them, we wouldn't be here. And, yeah, there's there's lots of things that transaction coordinators can do, especially if they're licensed. I totally get that. But some of these TRR negotiations, some of these contract negotiations, even drafting the contract. Like, I'll have a transaction coordinator help me draft the contract occasionally when I don't have time. Um, but even drafting the contract, like, like I want to make sure it's right. There's a lot of items in a contract that are important. And I want to make sure they're 
right. So I totally get, you know, the monotonous day-to-day -day stuff, but the stuff that revolves thought, this result revolves putting together a contract based on your customer's needs and desires, I have a hard time having a transaction coordinator do that. When I do, I still want a PDF copy sent to me first before I send it over to the customer because I want to read it. Uh, you know, putting together the email to the customer when the final settlement statement comes out, that could easily be a transaction coordinator. You know, numbers are straightforward. Numbers are numbers. You know, um, here's the final settlement statement. Here's what we had the estimated needed amount for closing to be. Here's what the final amount needed for closing is. Please make sure that's a cashier's check. Please give us a call with any questions. You know, I could, I totally get that being a transaction coordinator email, but TRR negotiation, man, writing a contract even, I just, I don't know. I can't give that up yet. That's just me personally. What about you guys? Do you guys have a transaction coordinator do a lot of your stuff for you? Do you spend most of your time prospecting um, and closing? Um, you know, what do you guys do? I, I want to prospect more. I have a horrible time getting my prospecting filled in. God has really blessed me though, and everyone that works with me, as far as keeping us busy, keeping business going. Right now, I'm gonna say at least 13 escrows, 13 escrows, 17 listings. Like we're super blessed. God takes care of us. Um, but I spend I spend quite a bit of money on direct mail, staying in touch with my customers. Better Homes and Garden allows me to send a magazine to them once a month. You know, putting that into integrate. We're integrating that in our client touching base system. One of my buddies told me today he's got a he found out about a system that touches people 25 times over five years. 21 times over five years, four times a year, four times five, 20. So 20 to 25 times a year. What is that rattling? Do you guys hear rattling? Oh, it was my gimbal rattling on my charger. Oh, my phone's at 100%. Well, I'll go ahead and shut that down. Um, yeah, staying in touch with people. I spend a ton of money on direct mail. And emails, I, I follow up with people, emails, I follow up with people, phone calls, text messages, just continually follow up. Um, I think it was Grant Cardone, the uh, the money's in the follow up or something. I'm not sure. Uh, please don't quote me. Grant is uh, above my level. I'm a real estate agent that sells, you know, houses. I don't deal in syndications or anything like that. But uh, anywho, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I've got some things I need to do before I get to the showing, like uh, pull over and put the address in my GPS. So I'm gonna, I think everyone's gonna pass me. By the time I get to the stop sign, everyone will have passed me and I won't have to pull over. So I'll put the address in the GPS at the stop sign. You guys, like, side, like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. You've got real estate questions, put them in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you about them. I'm not an attorney, I'm not a CPA, I'm not a title company, I'm not an abstractor, I'm not anything except a real estate agent. That's what I am. Josh Barnett, Better Homes and Garden, real estate paramount, coming at you with another video. All right, guys, I'll. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to film the first house unless I beat the buyers there, but I'll definitely film the second house when I'm shutting off all the lights. So you guys will be able to see that at least. And then after that, on the way home, I gotta swing by and make sure I put a roof on, or the sellers put a roof on for a closing that may or may not be happening tomorrow at 2 p.m. All right, have a great day.
tried to tell me that's not how they're gonna buy it and I, I said that's fine you know that 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 that's how this seller is selling this property and they try to tell me that's that's not how it works and if a seller has certain terms as far as showings and things of that nature on their properties that they are selling they can do that I mean unless it's against federal discriminating laws which it's not a seller can sell their property on their terms however they want to well, I don't know if this particular buyer who's called me three times today realizes that I'm the same agent they spoke to back in January and I've had one of my buyer reps reach out to them twice already and reaching out to them again a third time now um, don't understand why they're not chatting with my buyer rep because they've tried to get a hold of them three times and they keep calling me I'm booked out all day today so I, I just I don't have time to return their call or talk to them about the property um, plus that property has been released so um, it's still not available so don't have a clue what they're calling me about but anyways long story short crazy buyer calls what kind of crazy buyer calls do you guys get as real estate agents do you uh, or as consumers do you make some crazy buyer calls do you call agents over and over again just because they haven't done things the way you want them to that they're doing things the way the sellers want them to you know put it down in the comments what type of crazy buyer calls you've dealt with as agents and what crazy buyer calls you as buyers have uh, dealt out to agents I guess you would say all right let me make sure I'm still going the right way yes I am so passing one of the new fire stations city of Oklahoma City fire station number 26 brand new good-looking fire station all right guys I'm gonna try to shoot this house when I'm turning off the lights and stuff as I'm leaving, if I don't get to, uh, I'll definitely film the roof that I've got to go look at before tomorrow's closing. So, talk to you guys soon. Bye. All right, folks, just finished up showing houses. I'm turning off all the lights now. Um, some agents, I don't know why, uh, they say it's old school, but I think it's just weird. Um, some agents leave their business cards after they show houses like like and they say it's to let people know that they were there well turn off all the lights and um, the electronic lock boxes nowadays they tell us that you were there so that's just weird um, I think there's alternative motives for them leaving their business cards at listings and uh, that's just me and that's my opinion and uh, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a CPA, I'm not any of that stuff, and I can have opinions. But yeah, I think there are alternative motives to leaving business cards. I never do it. Never do it. You don't see me do it. Um, I just don't. So we'll get all the lights shut off in this house, and then we'll jump on the road. And uh, these people are awesome. These, This is our third showing on this house. These people always leave us cookies. I love these sellers. And I always recommend to my sellers to leave cookies too, because it... Uh, it's just nice to have cookies. Oh, man. Okay. So, this house is huge. Look at all these lights I'm having to turn off. Um, great showing. The family's going to go talk about it. Uh, they're interested. They've got, as with every single family, they've got things to kick around and things to discuss. So, um, if this isn't the one, no worries. That's the cool thing about real estate. There are always houses for sale. Oh, wow. There's so many light switches in this house. Okay. Oh, I want to get out of here quick um, so the family can get back in their house and enjoy their evening. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys when I get in the car. All right, bye guys.